Spring is in the air. Hey everybody, Tom Pagano here. I'm down here at Lake Lanier, beautiful Lake Lanier, Georgia. I'm gonna host in today's show from out here because today's theme is music in the outdoors. But first things first, guys, remember, to keep this show going and to keep me going, I need you guys to subscribe and hit that bell so you know when there's a new show out or new episode out. And guys, spread the word about Alto Pictures Presents. It's a good show. I have a lot planned and a lot of fun. So let's get this show rolling. In the spring air, you gotta love, love springtime. Springtime in the air. So we're gonna get it rocking. And uh, later on in the show, I have, uh, if you remember a few weeks back, I did an interview with Dave Neugebauer. He's uh, on the road with the Eagles right now. And uh, to finish off his interview, I asked him that infamous question, is there still soul in rock and roll? And we'll find out that his answer to that in a little bit. But first, I'm gonna go uh, take it down a journey of some live acts that I recorded over the years as I traveled the US uh, from here, from Georgia, all the way to California. Um, and that's what this, pretty much what the show is about today, is supporting the local artists throughout the country. Uh, they're out there, they're working, they're busking, having a good time, bringing you some good music. So we got to get out there and appreciate them, show them the love and support us. So this is a, a compilation of a couple bands and performers that I met on my journey across the USA. Stolen, I don't need back. 
crash coming wasn't out of the blue Blindsided, didn't hurt by me Was anyone there? Are you lonely? Are you wasting? Is there anything left exhausted? Do you feel like dying? Can you even move anything? Can you even move anything? When a tune How did you feel when all you knew was smashed and stolen? Why don't you back? Feels like a nightmare, like you've been raised. When it's so crash, when were you broken? And how did you feel when all you knew was smashed and stolen? Wasn't out of the blue, blindsided, didn't hurt by the Was anyone there? Are you lonely? Are you wasted? Is there anything left exhausted? Do you feel like dying? Can you even move? Did you see a crash coming? Wasn't out of the blue, blindsided, didn't hurt by the Was anyone there? Are you lonely? It is there anything left exhausted? Do you feel like dying? Can you even move anything? Can you even move anything? Can you move? Can you Shining my light in eternal head. I don't know why I can't fly like a bird who wants some wings. This in my world, cried somebody, hear me. Everybody got a voice, nobody wanna hear. So speaking it for them, gotta open up your ears. All these shooters in the street, who we think gon' win? The devil steady left, T locked up in the pen. How we got more jails than we even got schools? They even think we fools, made me wanna buy a tool. Why stay in the press? Why stay in the news? Okay from me, everybody know it's cool. I don't know why. Sunshine in the morning time, shining my light through the tunnel. Yeah. I don't know why I can't fly like a bird on walls some wings. It's in my world, cried somebody, hear me. Locked up, got a felony. Not who you think gon' hire me. This government ain't for nobody. I think it's a conspiracy for the people trying to make the ends meet. For the hustler out there up in the street. For that Wall Street brother, single mother. I still love you and my sisters and brothers. Let's take a stand together. Apart we are weak. I got a plan for us, that's why I can't get sleep. We can move mountains, face us a mustard seed. If we just strategize, then we can all achieve. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I don't know, I don't know why sunshine in the morning time. Shout in my life through the tunnel of pain. I don't know why I can't fly like a bird. I want some wings. This is my world cry. 
Awesome. Woo!
hands on the ground and the lights spinning round. I called out our name and they made us king and queen. Well, the biggest gift for me on that special, special year. All the hot rod boys, they were wishing they were me. With your hands still in mine and my eyes shut tight, I put my lips to yours and we flew up through the sky. I wanna know why. I want you, yes I want you, you understand. I've never, almost done, no more never gone so far. When the sun came up that morning, we were still together. Well I know it wasn't yours, but it sure wasn't mine. That was pretty incredible from the mountain jams of Dahlonega to the piers of Santa Monica to the beaches of Venice and all the music in between. That's great, people. Let's enjoy it. Let's keep the music, keep supporting this music, and uh, let's keep on rocking on. And like I said, we're going to end today's show with an interview, the last part of the interview I did with Dave Neugebauer, you know, the director from the Eagles. I asked him that infamous question, is there still soul in rock and roll? And he had quite an interesting answer. So uh, let's cut back to that and see what he had to say. I'm just going to go into the Is There Still Soul in Rock and Roll category of the show. Now, you've been around music, like I said, for 40 years, rock and roll. You've seen, you know, band, you know you're working with classic bands and and... Today's music, pop music, has kind of changed a lot because it seems like the most important part of it is the computer where you could sometimes not even be musically touched an instrument, but you could download clips and make a song and put it right there. Right. Now, do you think uh, that has taken soul out of music or has it displaced it a little bit? I think, uh, I think marketing has taken soul out of a certain type of music. Marketing has taken soul out of the music, the popular music, the music that's being offered. I mean, there's, there's still great new young bands coming up, man. I, I hear them and, you know, I mean, uh, it's, it's a lot of the popular music. I mean, I won't say names, but I mean, I work with some big, you know, pop ones too. And it's, I mean, I was an engineer for one big tour. I won't, you know. And there was a big, the monitor was out in the monitor truck. Oh, I said, okay, well, I'll get, you got to get up for right now. Well, the reason I had to get up there is because the guy was running Pro Tools. Every bit of vocal you heard was coming from this guy, and he needed that monitor so he could watch the star just to make sure. That was weird. I, I did uh, Macklemore and uh, Ryan Lewis, and uh, my younger son had to talk me off the ledge on that one because I, I, I go, you know, hey, when Ryan hits play, I want you people like, what the hell is this? <laughs> when he hits play, all these, you know, skateboard kids from from Seattle sitting there, you know, running around wearing instruments and doing funny, goofy things, and uh, and I really didn't get it. But my son kind of said, "Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait." And uh, as it turns out, I mean, um, Ryan was the one producing all the videos that he handed us. He produced all the music tracks of the stuff that was, yes, pre-tracked, but and pre-produced. But he was the one writing the scores, mm -hmm. getting these really talented singers to do this stuff, and you know, editing together the bits that rolled with it, and. Uh, and then you peel that back and it was Ben McLemore's like street poetry and it was like really impressive. But the second half of the show was his new album and I don't know what he's done. I mean that first album he had some yeah. really heavy stuff. I was like wow once I once I kind of realized what was going on I was really impressed on that whole you know this is the kind of stuff makes you tear up. I mean it was just really get you there but then you know this stuff from his newest album is you know like let's eat. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> Although, what's his name? Nally? Something yeah. that used to jump out and go, downtown. He was pretty good at the end. But uh, but that was pretty cool. I mean, I was an actor. I thought they had no soul at first, but thought it was pretty cool. But, but to answer your question, no, nah, I think soul's still there. I just think, you know, the marketers, you know, it's, it's the radio stations and all that that are you know, cramming crap music down people's throat because they're scared. They don't want to try nothing new. They don't want to, they don't want to keep their, their, alter their income streams by taking a chance. Yeah. So they, make everything sound the same and force that down people's throat. But if you go 
there's all those little places on the internet you can go and there's actually some really cool music being made by young people so I don't think the soul's gone but, um, you know and there are still some people that you know actually make music on analog instruments because that kind of makes yeah. me sad I mean I played trombone when I was in high school and stuff and I like brass and it's just like there are no music programs anymore and so few people actually touch real analog instruments now that's kind of yeah, well that, yeah that's say that's something I, I you know been a uh, a project of mine. I've done two shows, uh, benefit concerts f featuring local bands to raise money for uh, special one also in New York. They, they came to me and, and the, the, the money for their music program was gone. Mm -hmm. And these kids, you know, they wanted something but they had nothing. So I did a battle of bands from kids from 8 to 18 and it turned out great. People came down, they donated the money, they donated the instruments. And when I brought the, the gear and the money to the school to help them out, these kids' eyes are just like, you know, it, it, it was, was was amazing. And I've done the same thing down here in Georgia. And that's a project I want to continue because it always seems in school now that the music programs, all the arts programs are always taken away. Right. And like I say, there's not many people playing acoustic instruments anymore. And that's sad, but they, you know, because that education has been taken away from them. Right. So every little bit, you know, we could do, I can do whatever yeah. helps. But Dave, thank you, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. And, uh, Good luck with your, uh, with your TV here with uh, Alto. Alto Pictures Presents. Alto Pictures Presents. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I, I've got on there and I've looked at all the stuff. You guys do it too. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. Cheers. Thank you, Dave, for that such an ins inspiring answer to the question is there still soul in rock and roll? I'd like to see what uh, some of you guys think. So if you want to leave your opinion or thoughts on that question, leave it on the comments below. And uh, let's see. Let's see uh, how you feel about that. But anyway, thank you guys. Thank you for joining in. I had a great time putting the show together, as always. Uh, so remember, please subscribe, hit the bell, pass the word around, and let's get Alto Pictures Presents growing and growing and growing. I, w I would like to hit... I have 60 viewers right now. I'd like to hit 100 before the show ends. So guys, hit the button. Hit subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your families. Tell your enemies. Tell everybody about Alto Pictures Presents. Until the next episode, this is Tom Pagano. Rock on.